Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about nightclub raids. Yes, your nightclub can be raided. I'm gonna talk to you about how they work and how you can avoid them. And this is actually kind of important, guys, because these raids are no joke. They're serious. Because if you fail the raid, you will lose all of your product. And the actual criteria for how these raids work the threshold is quite low and with this week the nightclub business being double cash money on the sales there's going to be a lot of raids kicking off because a lot of people are going to be going afk so hopefully this video helps out before we go any further though make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on and drop a like if you enjoy the video all right so first up something that you need to pay attention to when you're upgrading your nightclub is the security upgrade yes you do need the security upgrade i would invest in the equipment and the staff uh, first, but the security is going to be very important and it will cost you $695,000 to add the security upgrade. But let's just go ahead and talk about how the raids work, okay? So your nightclub business will hold 360 total units for a full nightclub. If you do not have the security upgrade at just 20% capacity or 72 units, the raid timer is going to start and you only have four hours. Now, if you do have security upgrades, that threshold gets kicked up to 40% capacity or 144 units. And now you have an eight hour timer before the raid will actually commence. Now, keep this in mind. You do have to be registered for the raid to actually happen. So if you are not registered, that is good. That is a good thing. But a lot of people will be forgetting to disband and they'll go AFK, come back to the game the next day and they'll find that their nightclub and maybe some other businesses have been raided. All right. Now, a few extra things to keep in mind. All right. If you are being raided, if you die, if you're the only person in your organization, if you die by the police raid, then you are going to lose everything. All right. If you have multiple people in your organization, all members must die before you fail the raid. So keep that in mind as well. All right. So if you are solo and this raid kicks off, you have got to be very careful. These raids are no joke. They are rare. It's, you know, another thing that can help prevent the raid or not prevent, but slow it down. Any kind of mission that you do that takes you out of a free mode lobby, like a Kyo heist or a contact mission, that's going to pause the timer. But this week, especially, you need to pay attention because of how much the nightclub is going to be getting used, how many people will be actually taking part in this double money. And it's fantastic money. You just have to pay attention. And if you choose to go AFK to let your nightclub cook, make sure you go passive before you do that so you don't have to worry about being in a organization and get raided and not even know, all right? So again, the security is definitely worth it. It absolutely makes a major difference and not only the threshold, but the actual timer. And understand, if your nightclub is being raided, you cannot die, all right? So make sure you are snacking up, you're paying attention to your health and armor, you're using vests, everything, all right? Because it will make a difference. And even though the nightclub is passive income, it still would be a major pain to lose all that good double cash money, all right? So there you guys have it. If you want to add anything else about the raids, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ilza Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.